my question to you is, do you think with your head or your heart? Well, if you're around in ancient Egyptian times, you would firmly believe that your thoughts, memories, and emotions all originate from your heart. It is now, however, known that, in fact, your brain is the center for memory formation. Now, the brain has been very well studied, and it is formed of this network of neurons that all talk to one another, and in this way, you form memories. Interestingly, there is a similar network of neurons that form on the surface of your heart. And the question is, do these neurons on the surface of your heart talk to one another in a similar way as those neurons do in your brain? I am particularly interested in this question because those neurons are involved in a disease called atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is when your heart rate or rhythm is rapid or irregular. It affects 33.5 million people worldwide. It is more common in patients that have obesity, diabetes, or of advancing age, so it's becoming an ever wider problem. Atrial fibrillation also increases your risk of other diseases, such as heart failure, dementia, and stroke. And treatment for atrial fibrillation is difficult, which is why research into the field is essential. In my work, I take control hearts without atrial fibrillation and diseased hearts with atrial fibrillation. I can then take a small sample from these hearts and dye them with different color dyes. This allows me to look in minute detail at the connections between these neurons. The more the neurons talk to one another, the stronger those connections will get. The less they talk, the weaker they will get. Now, I am very pleased to tell you that for the first time, I have discovered the machinery that allows you to form memories in your brain is also present in these neurons on the surface of your heart. And so, in a way, your heart can make a kind of memory of its previous activity. Now, this will become particularly interesting when I look at the diseased hearts, because I expect this machinery to be malfunctioning or moving to the wrong places. The more we understand about atrial fibrillation, the better position we will be in to treat those millions of people worldwide. The more we know, the easier it is to treat. And so, I will ask you again, do you think with your head or your heart? Well, the answer might just be both.